What's up guys? So I broke my foot and I was wearing Tech 7s and I wanted to get some new boots. I wanted to buy some top shelf boots, you know, some premium brands. I ordered some Garnets. These are the SG22s, pretty red boot. And I ordered some Tech 10s, Alpine Stars Tech 10s, pretty red boot. And then I ordered some CD Crossfire 3s which these are also pretty rad boots. These were the three options that I was interested in. So this is what I ordered and try and decide which boots I'm gonna keep. I'll go over a little breakdown of these boots, each one of these boots and tell you what I like and what I don't like about them. Okay, so I broke my foot on the little bike. I broke my metatarsal right here, right behind my little toe on my foot, my right foot. I didn't need surgery or anything. It just put me down. I wasn't walking for like three and a half months. It took me longer than that to recover really. Hobbled around for a month on a crutch and, and hobbled around with no crutch for about a month. So I was down for a while. But I had Tech 7s on and I was on the little bike. The little bike fell on my foot. And the problem with the Tech 7s is they're just so soft. I don't know you can really see it, but you can totally flex these all around. You know, up here on the toe, it's fairly decent, but when you get back off the toe cup, it's pretty soft. And this buckle here sticks out a lot. I don't know that you can really see it, but it sticks out further than almost anything else. And I think that's where my foot broke because I came down like this on the ground and this hit and went into my foot. And I can't say that it's the boot's fault, but I feel like if I had better boots on, I might not have had this problem or this break, so... I wanted some top shelf boots. So being an Alpine Star guy, I ordered Tech 10s. And like first looking at these boots, they're pretty rad. They're more expensive. I think these are just under $700. The first thing is I look at is like this area in here where I broke my foot, right? This is all hard. And there's even more rubber protection right here where I would break my foot or where I did break my foot. And the buckle doesn't stick way out right here. So it's kind of hard to see, but you don't, you don't have this point that's sticking out. And plus this buckle is moved back further up. So it's not where it is on the Tech 7. But these boots are pretty rad. Lots of protection. They got really good hinges on them. It's definitely a stiffer boot. One thing that I like is this toe box. Like there's hardly any flex in the toe box, which for me, I think is a good thing because that's where I broke my foot. But I feel like this is a little lower profile right here, which is really nice. And I feel like it's stiffer. I don't think you can squeeze it like this way and like it doesn't move, right? So I feel like if I had the same instance where I felt like this and the bike came down on me, this stuff isn't flexing. I feel like it would protect my foot. At least way better than what it was. Alpine Star is not making not half sizes anymore. So I always wore a nine and a half in the Tech 7s. So they don't make half sizes anymore. My Tech 7s were nine and a half. I tried the nines in these and they were way too small. So I got the 10s and the 10s fit like the nine and a halfs do. They fit really good. I really like the way they look. I like the sole. They feel really cushiony inside like the Alpine Stars Tech 7s and really pretty nice. They only have three buckles. The biggest thing for me is I feel like there's just a lot of protection here. It's just not as soft as the Tech 7s. I know there will be some break in, but you know, you have other spots here that keep it from hyper extending, having uh, problems with the Achilles going too far this way, flexing. So. They're really pretty cool. One of the features of the Alpine Star Tech 10s is it has an inner booty. And on these inner booties, they have like this carbon fiber braces right here. And it really helps with ankle support a lot, right? So it's got this inner booty you can take out and, and clean and give you more support. And it's got some plastic, it's got plastic here and it's a pivot, help you flex some more, really pretty nice. It gives a lot more support, which is pretty rad, but it also, you're dealing with a booty all the time. So that's kind of a drawback to me. Uh, when I wear it, when I put these on, like I can feel these carbon fiber 
support on the booty and you feel it on the ankle. All these boots have a lot more ankle support, which is, which is a big deal because like people that break their ankles, they go to these top end boots for sure because there's more ankle support in them, right? But what most people do is they just leave the booties inside and you just put, you just put them on inside the boot, right? It's just, uh, you slip your foot in and then you tighten it down with the little Velcro, right? But most people leave them in and you deal with it that way. For me, the boots feel really good. They, they're really cushiony. Uh, they're definitely stiffer. The Alpine Star Tech 10 is definitely stiffer than like the Alpine Star 7, Tech 7s. And the ankle support is way more. But I don't know how I feel about this inner booty. Like sometimes I don't want to deal with it. And like you do feel it. I do feel it. So maybe that is part of the break in is that it's getting used to these and like the boot getting used to having this and flexing. So I don't know, I'm still torn. I really like the boots. It's Alpine Stars, good stuff, good technology and all of it, lots of protection. The price is just under $700. It's middle price range for these three boots that I'm showing you. But the booties, it's got a fairly decent sole, so it's easier to feel, easier to feel the pegs and stuff. I'm just not sure about this yet, but like they're pretty rad. They really are pretty rad. Three buckles, sh nice shin protection, nice and stiff. It's got the, it's got the hinge on there. It's going to flex real well. It's got protection in the back from overextending, hyperextending. Really nice. And then I'll show you here the booty. Not the easiest thing to wear, but definitely a ton of protection. And I just really like the foot box. I mean, on this side, it's got lots of rubber to help with the uh, shifting and the controls. And it's got nice rubber on the outside here. And it's thicker right here where I broke my foot. So it's definitely more protection and it's definitely stiffer right in here. And then how does it feel on? Like it feels pretty good, really cushy, but super stiff. And like I said, I feel the, the insert, the little insert booty and the ankles because the ankles are really tight. And even if I loosen it up, you can tell there's going to be some break in around the ankles there. And the buckles are on these are awesome, right? It's the Alpine Star, and they're they're pretty badass. It's great buckles, but super cool. I think lots of protection. You see a lot of motocross guys running these. Like most people are running these Alpine Stars Tech Tens. And this is the top shelf flagship offering from Alpine Star. And that's the Alpine Star Tech 10. And my next option is the CD Fire, the CD Crossfire 3s. Now these are pretty cool. These are cheaper. They're less than $600. So they're the cheapest of the three boots that I have. But they got this pivot that's really pretty cool. You can see right here that it moves. Super stiff, but it does move. It does have replaceable parts that can be replaced where they rub. And right in here, this is replaceable. These are Italian made. It's got four buckles on it. Uh, the buckles are fairly nice. They're not quite as nice as some of the other ones. It's like a little latch there that goes in. And they're all right. It's not like, it's not the greatest, but I don't think it's gonna catch a lot of mud and stuff. But I think that's part of the reason they are a little cheaper. The toe box is really nice. The toe box is really stiff and I can squeeze on them and hey, they don't move. So I feel like where my foot was broken, they wouldn't break in these cause this is really stiff. There's not a lot of extra rubber on this side, the outside where my foot broke, but it's really a narrow boot and it doesn't stick out. So I feel like the same thing happened again, I would be fine. They feel pretty light. They feel pretty decent and they're pretty narrow. And the foot box, like people say these boots are narrow. So if you have a wide foot, you can't wear them. But I feel like I have a lot of room in the foot box. I feel like there's not a lot of padding in here. It's like I have room to move around, but it's very stiff and it's not like gonna collapse on me or anything like that. It's got this stretchy material to go around the top, which is really nice. And the ankles, when you put them on, the ankles on the inside is super tight. Like this area is super tight. 
Definitely going to have some break in period because this is just so tight right in here. And I loosen these. I loosen these up a little bit just to help it flex a little more, but it's still super tight. Definitely with some break in period. But I really like the inside. Like I was pleasantly surprised when I put these on, right? Cause it, it also has replaceable sole, right? So it's got replaceable parts on this, which is kind of nice. But I was pleasantly surprised when I put these on cause they are pretty nice boots. They feel pretty good. They're just super tight in here and kind of open in here. But I love the, the, the toe box is like, I don't feel like I'd break my foot at all. Like smashing it the way I did on my Tech 7s. I mean, these are good boots. Like I said, they're under $600 regular price, so. I don't know how I like the red. That's a little too poppy for me, but pretty sweet, pretty sweet. All right, and then last but not least is the Garnet, the SG22. These boots are super rad. I think these boots impress me more than any of the three that I tried on. Um, it's got this hard sole, which probably doesn't have as much foot peg feel. And it's got the little metal toe kicker, but these things are rad. It's got a big, uh, big toe box and it's super stiff. Can't move the toe box at all. So I don't feel like I would have broke my foot with these boots in the same instance that I did with my Tech 7s. Cause they, there's just hardly any flex in them. The buckles are nice. There's four buckles on them. They're fairly nice, but I don't think they're as good as the Alpine Stars, but they're better than the CD. And it's got these huge, it's got these huge ankle supports in them, uh, pivots, and it's really pretty stiff, but look on the inside there. No, you can see it, but it's got these right in the ankles. It's got like this memory foam. It's really pretty nice because it, it's super stiff. It's super tight like this way right here. And there's definitely some break in with these because like it needs to expand and open up a little bit, but it's got this memory foam right on these pivots. And like it, it takes a little time to settle in, but it, it just hugs your foot. Putting these boots on, these boots feel the best. Of course, these are the most expensive ones. They're over $700. And of course, I like the most expensive ones. Like imagine that. But these things are rad. Because what do I like about them is like they feel super good on. And they're padded in the toe box, but there's plenty of room in the toe box. So it doesn't feel like the CD where there's a bunch of room in there. And it doesn't feel like the Alpine Star where it's just tons of padding. I feel like this is stiffer. This toe box is stiffer than the Alpine Stars. But it feels good because there's padding in there. And then I like the padding around the, the pivots. They're really nice. And it's just got like good, it's just got good top shelf material on the inside. It's just, it's got the, all the same features, no so hyper extension, all that kind of stuff. Like when I wear these, this is what I like. Out of all three of these boots, this is the most comfortable one. What's the downside to them? It's like a very thick sole, so foot peg feel probably isn't gonna be as good as the other ones. But I also feel like they're stiffer and like, I don't feel like I'd break my foot in the same scenario that I did, like this coming down and there's nothing, there's some padding here, some thicker plastic here to help protect with that stuff. It does have a little soft material in here for some flexibility right in that area where I broke my stuff, but I feel like these boots are bad ass. I didn't want the white because these look very stormtroopy. I like the white for the desert because they're cooler, but they look so stormtroopy. And I don't want something that's so, how do you say, ca catching a bunch of attention. They're just stand out like, but the way these things feel, huh, they're awesome. They are awesome. I love the way these feel more than any of the other ones. I like the CD. They're pretty nice boots. They're really tight right in here. I'd have to break in. And I don't know, maybe the guys that wear CDs are loosening these up a little bit, but it's super tight right in here. And it kind of scares me that if I did buy them and ride them, I definitely have to break them in, but man, it might just rub my ankle raw until they get broken in. But I love how the foot box is, the toe box is super stiff, but there's not a lot of padding in there. So they're not super comfortable. 
it just feels like an open area. Like my foot has a lot of open area, but it's, you know, it's a nice boot, but it's probably third on my list out of the three that I just got. And then the Alpine Star is super rad. I like the three buckles. I like the whole toe box. It's not as stiff as the other ones, but it's a little flatter and a little more mobility. I feel like the ankles are just so thick. Like this boot is hugely thick right in through here because of that booty and stuff. For me, it's between the Garnet and the Alpine Star, um, just because I want the most protection. I feel like these two are just giving a little more protection, but I don't know if I want to deal with that booty in there. Kind of sucks. And I could definitely feel those ankle supports when I wear the Alpine Star Tech 10s. Now I love these just because there's no booty in them. They're super comfortable. They feel, they feel super protective. <clears throat> they feel like they're going to last for damn near ever. And there's, I'm sure there's a little break in, but they're super rad. Super rad. I thought I would like the Alpine Stars, but I kind of like these better. These are pretty bad. These are, these are badass. The buckles, they're not as nice as the Alpine Star, but they're better than the other ones. They're fairly decent. Super rad boot, super rad boot. And of course it's the most expensive. My only thing is this toe box is pretty tall. Be a little adjusting to get under the shift levers, but yeah, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. You know, there's no replacement parts on this. You could get it resold, but it's not like you're replacing parts on this or I don't know if money wasn't an issue and protection and durability is what I wanted. It's this boot right here. And for me, the most comfortable, I have to say this boot is the most comfortable. The Alpine stars are really comfortable, but I'm not sure I want to deal with that booty, you know, plain and simple. But these, these are awesome. I want a different color. It seems like Garnet, all the Garnet boots are out everywhere. I only got this one because it was the only one in my size. I would get a different color, I think. And I'm not sponsored by any of these people. I'm buying my own boots, not sponsored by Alpine Star. I haven't contacted Garnet and CD. I'm not sponsored by anybody that sells CD. So I'm buying my own boots for my own protection. Now I've, these are the Tech 7s. And when you look at this, like it just, I can squeeze them out. Just like, it's not as bad as a tennis shoe, but it's, way too much flex but so i've seen pro riders wearing these the one guy in utah radic had these in utah and he was running tech sevens i said i'm surprised you're running tech sevens he said well i'm not doing any high speed stuff and i'm just like taking it easy so he said they're more comfortable and since he was taking it easy he was wearing the tech sevens but he said if i was doing anything more high speed or more technical i would wear tech tens and that kind of made sense to me but after breaking my foot, like, I want something else. And it's, it's between these two. And I think like if you watch motocross, most people are wearing these two boots. I know Garnet makes a, I forget what it's called. It's the 12 instead of the 22. A lot of people like those. Those are the little older versions, but it's, these things are pretty rad. I love the way they feel on, and I love the, they just feel like they're protecting me a bunch and they'll last a long time. And I think these are it. This is my choice. This is what I'm going to get. This is what I'm going to buy. The Garnet SG-22s. Because these Alpine Stars, they're pretty rad, but I just don't know about that booty. And they're just so wide, which is a ton of ankle support, which is a big deal. You do need a ton of ankle support. Now, it's not to say that these are bad boots. It's just I prefer a little more. A little more comfort and a little more protection, I feel like. I feel like these are really good boots, though. And for under $600, like, decent, decent boot. So if you're looking at boots, I hope this helps some of you. Helps some of you decide a little bit. It is really tight right in here, but it's got nice cushion. So I feel like there is a little break-in period with these, but I feel like these are better than the other ones. They, these just feel way better on my foot. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Let me know which ones you guys are riding and which ones you like. Comment down below. I know I got friends that are Garnet fans and like, I think I'm going to turn into a Garnet fan. Because <laughs> these things are pretty rad. And I just like the way they feel. They're pretty rad. All right, that's it. 
Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Catch you guys later.